Hey there Titans, welcome to Form Titan Basics. In this video we'll cover how to use condition to pop up on model window. So this form, what we set up here for this form to do is we're gonna we're searching case and then we have a um, condition on the status and priority. Uh, let's take a look at the condition. So the condition says that if the current field, which is the status, is not closed and the priority is high, so what we're doing, we're running a cell source action to create a task. And once the task is created, um, we're returning the record ID to our auto-created task ID hidden. So that's that. And now, what we would like the form to do is every time that we create a new task, we want to pop up a window with the task information and to be able to add it to task. So for this, we created a new form. This is a very simple form. It just brings in the, the task information from the task ID. Let's take a look at our get. So our condition is activity ID, which is the task ID, equals to our task ID hidden. And we're mapping the fields. So we're mapping, mapping the subject status and priority. And the next thing we're doing once we're updating, so let's take a look at at our push settings. So we're creating a, a, an update for a task. So this is just an update as an action. And our condition is again fairly simple. Activity ID equals our task ID. And our mapping is, let's take a look at our mapping. So we're mapping the subject status and priority again. And just note that this, um, this is a custom button. We're using a custom button. Let's take a look at our button here. So, let, so this is our um, update button. We're just uh, running the the update uh, the the task update, and we're mapping the once it's done updating, we're mapping the ID of the task into our hidden update done. And now we did something cool here with the update done. We did a few things. So let's take a look at the conditions here. So we're saying that if it's not empty, which means that the update was done. So we have two things running here. One of them is we're showing the update successful and we're supporting the opposite. So when the form loads, then it's not going to show. And we're running a JavaScript. Basically, we just set a timeout here for two seconds. And after two seconds, we're going to close the, we're going to close the model. So that's that. Now let's see how we hook everything up together. Let's head over to our auto created task ID and we're going to set up the try to set up the condition. What we're saying here is that the current field is not empty and we don't need to support the opposite. And what we're going to do is redirect open modal and we need to give it a URL. So, in order for us to give it a URL, we have to create a new uh, hidden. We're going to call this modal URL. And we need to give it a value. So our value for this one is we're just going to publish this form. We're going to copy the URL. This is the modal that we want to pop up. And we're going to give it the value. Next thing we need to grab from, from our pop-up form is this guy over here, the task ID, because we need to pass in this hidden ID in order for us to pull up the correct task. So this field ID is FLD24. I copied it. Now let's head over to our condition again. Configure the result. Go back to the redirect open model. Select our model URL. Open and Model. Let's give it a, a thousand by nine hundred. If you hide the header, then you won't have the X on the model. And we're not going to set timeout. The timeout basically means that it will wait as many seconds as you give it here to uh, until it opens the model. We're going to set the parameters. We want to send the auto created task ID, which is our task ID, into our FLD24 in our other form. 
Let's apply this. Save the form. And let's see how it does. Let's publish this. Select the case. Let's say this one. Status is new. Let's change it to high. OK, so it's, it created our task, popped up our modal. Now we can basically change the subject into do this. And you can change the status to in progress. And let's say the priority to normal. We'll update the window, update successful, and the window is closed. And this is how it's done. Have fun.